friends, Miranda, and today I'm here to react to episode 6 of Spinning Out on Netflix. I am... Ooh, that almost rhymed. <laughs> I'm very excited because one of you in the comments on the last reaction video said that Kat and Justin are going to heat up very quickly, very soon. And I mean, they kind of have to because we're on episode 6. We're more than halfway there by now to the end of hopefully the season finale. I really hope the show gets picked up for a second season. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, I, this is... Another part that I hate about ice skating and just sports in general, it takes some wear and tear on your body. I thought you didn't want her to stay. I thought it was all so much better now that she's gone. Remember when you threw that in her face? Oh, Mitch picked her up. That's so sweet. He's a good guy. Yeah, I forgot about that. It sucks that, like, in this society, yeah, it's like you have to, to get the help you need, you have to pay for it. But, like, oftentimes when you need help, it's because you're not doing good and it's hard for you to keep a job, to have that money built up. So it's just like, oh, it's so hard, you know? Like, it's expensive to keep up with your mental health, and it shouldn't be because... It literally is what keeps you alive. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey? What? Who? <laughs> Who is that man's? Is that a real thing? I mean, it must be a real thing in skating, but I've never seen it before. You literally look like a fish that someone's just, like, hooking around. Oh my gosh, he literally just... She looks like a Christmas ornament on that thing. Thank you, Dasha. Oof. Hey, he caught her. <laughs> I can't get over the guy. Like, it's such a serious scene. And then there's just, like, this guy just like, I'm a fisherman. <gasps> she did it! Yay! <laughs> He's like, I didn't, I didn't. Aww. I love how proud they are of her. Oh, he has such a crush on her, guys. Like, that's what I realized. Even before this whole thing started, he has such a crush on her. Are they playing bingo? Oh. I love their relationship. It's so cute. Busted. He's liked her since they hooked up a year ago, and it's so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> I love him. He's so funny. Where's she gonna live? Where's Serena gonna live? Ah, man, he's like, Ugh, I love Mandy. Everyone does, guys. It's impossible not to, except maybe Justin, and that's just because he's a fool. I was gonna say she's pretty good at darts, but she kind of got worse and worse as it went on. <laughs> oh, um, guess it doesn't matter because she's playing with the worst possible guy. That didn't even get on the board, sir. One time I played darts and I missed. It was like a pop the balloon thing and then you won a prize. Missed completely. Didn't even hit the board. And then the dude is like, well, just take the prize. I think he felt bad for me. I was like, thank you. It's because he loves you. <laughs> yeah, okay. You were probably jumping out of your boots when Dasha was like, maybe Kat. You're probably like, yes, yes, yes. Sure, okay. Are they like becoming best friends? Is this a enemies to friends to lovers thing? Cause like, I'm here for it. 
Oh, I don't get, does she really like him? Because I thought she just wanted to hook up with him. I didn't think there was like actually wanting to be a relationship from this. He has an, a weird obsession with meatloaf, it's true. <laughs> Dude, he's so in love with her. I don't know what the boy version of being digmatized is, but like he's that. is so gosh damn sexy <laughs> he's such a sweetheart like deep down he puts on an asshole front like remember what mandy said you're not a dick as much as you try and be like he's so sweet and considerate and i think the world has just never let like rewarded him for that like he's always been punished but literally what is the boy version of being digmatized because that's it. like everything she does he's just like stars in his eyes <gasps> please tell me that's not jen jen we don't need you right now <laughs> Okay, maybe we're skipping the friends part or we just crammed it all into one night. This, I mean, it's episode six. I should have expected this, but it just seems like... Ugh. <laughs> oh, I love that they always hold hands. It's so cute. But also, like, Dasha told you not to do this, Justin. She specifically said keep it in your pants. Oh. He loves you, and he's had a crush on you for a damn year. Oh, he's so sweet with her. It's so cute. Like, she just deserves someone who looks at her like she hung the stars in the sky. Uh -oh. Please don't say something dumb. Please don't say something dumb. I thought he was going to say something really stupid like kinky, but it shows that Justin is just more, more depth than I give him credit for. Oh, they're so cool and sweet. I love it. And I love to, like, I don't know who writes this, but, like, I feel like they do a very good job of making Justin not an asshole, even just, like, if they want to be like, oh, he's an asshole on the surface, but then underneath he's really nice. Like, they could have had him right there been like oh like you can bite me or something but he was just like oh like he wanted to hear her and support her oh wow that's impressive she did her research that's good so it's not just like a whim idea you know even though i still want to know where are you gonna go <laughs> mandy mandy is she throwing up oh no she's having a panic attack oh poor mandy Oh, Carol's helping her. That's so sweet. What? Fifteen? Oh, sweetie, you're still a child then. No, no, no. Mandy, oh, I love her so much. I just want to give her a hug. Also, you're helping raise three other boys, so. What? Look at these two bonding. Who would have thunk? Is this the friendship I never knew I wanted but needed all along? Because I'm shook and I kind of love them. I knew Mandy had more to her because it's just like the way that she says how she sees Kat in herself and all that. And she knows what it's like to be a proud girl with no money. Like she definitely has more of a backstory to where she came from. It was bad. It was pretty bad. Really bad. Oh, she has a check for the money back. That's good. That's a good step, I feel like. Because it's not just saying that it's going to be different. It's showing that you're taking the steps, too, you know? And I think Carol's trying. And I want to give her the benefit of the doubt, even though she is so bitchy sometimes. I mean, I'm glad she's taking something, but you really, really should not mess with your men's. Oof. 
this is bad. Especially after all she saw her mom just go through. Like, why would you think that you could handle it any better than she could? Or I guess that's what you tell yourself. It's like, I'm not off my meds completely, but still, like, ooh. What? Mandy is the best, guys. Because she always phrases it in a way, too, that you never feel like you're taking handouts. <laughs> Guys, these two can conquer the world together. That's what I'm saying. Like, as long as they're on the same side, they can rule the world. Who is Alex Kowalski? And why do we care what he has to say? I wouldn't necessarily assume, though, that that means they're sleeping together. Like, they're partners. She could have totally just, like, spent the night or something like that. I don't know. Also, Leah, I mean, you slept with him and you fell on your triple jump, like, the next day, so... We really can't talk. Oh, oh, this is how they met. That's so cute. Oh, I love to see the difference too because it's like Jen has all the support, but she's not number one. Kat's the best, but she doesn't have the support and how that impacts you differently. Oh, and I love that all three of them are there to see it. That's so cute and they're happy. Who is that? Um, no, no, no. You cannot just show me a duck and or chicken and expect me to go back to all the normal stuff. What's wrong with Dasha now? Frick, something's wrong with her. Because remember she was having trouble seeing earlier too? Dang it, Dasha. I can't. I can't anymore. Okay, now I'm not mad anymore. He looks like a little cupcake. Oh. I guess it's not really good that you could accurately respond to that with which time. That's not going to calm her down. But I really didn't think she liked him that much was the thing. Like, I get it. I get it. But, like, to me, it was always like she just wanted to hook up with him because she heard he was a really good lay. Oh, the little... I know this is, like, such a serious scene, but then you have the duck hopping in the background. I love him. Do you think season two will be about the duck? Just, like, all this drama happening and the duck's just like... Do, 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 do. Oh. Bravo! Bravo, the little ducky! Oh, they look so good together. Oh, they're only hands. Me too, Serena. Me too. Who the frick is that? It's like that Friends episode where I look around and I'm like, pretty much everyone we know is here. <gasps> oh, crap. It's her dad. Did Carol know he was coming? He's going to have some issues, too, that, like, he's not sticking around for his daughter. He just comes and goes when he pleases. <gasps> what the? Oh, my gosh. What happened to her? Dude, I can't handle the stress. <laughs> Everything was supposed to be fine. <laughs> oh, my, when I say I did not see Justin and Kat coming that quickly, I did not see Justin and Kat coming that quickly. <laughs> and then I guess really coming. But uh, <laughs> uh, I just like, it's episode six. So yeah, I was just surprised. I wasn't really picking up on the fact that like she liked him like that. But I guess it's just that he believes in her. He does. And he's believed in her for a long, long time. And I think she's not used to someone trusting her that fully and believing in her that much that she can do amazing things. And I think that's really awesome when you have someone like that in your corner. I think it's really, really cute and really sweet. And I can't wait to see where it goes. And then also, I love the Mandy and Carol stuff. Never in my life would I have expected that. But I kind of love this friendship because I feel like they are very two very fierce women who you don't want to mess with and I think their combined efforts will just make it even more scarier. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next episode. If you have seen this episode though, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!